Hello and welcome back to this week's episode of The Horner Report. I'm your host, Chris Han, joined here again virtually by my lovely co-host, Faith. Hi everyone. I'm not sure about you, Chris, but I'm missing Homes Are High in the TV studio just a little extra today. But of course, I hope you're all staying home and doing well. Exactly. But this is where we can all come together. On The Horner Report. What's coming up today, Faith? Thanks, Chris. Kicking it off with Michelle Yang, who's out to show all of the wonderful talent in Homedale. Next up, our very own host, Chris Yan, with a special message from our teachers and their pets. Then, Vicki Whittle interviews a very talented HHS student, Maddie Fields. And we'll end it all with a special virtual catch with the baseball and boys lacrosse teams. I know for myself, with all this extra time, I've been spending more and more time with my family, reading more often, and working on some new hobbies. As for the rest of Homedale, I heard that some students are honing in on some of their hidden talents. We know America's got talent, but so does Homedale. Let's throw it over to Michelle to showcase some of the pros. I hope everybody is doing well. Oh. Hi, I'm Will. I'm going to make this card disappear. And now the card has reappeared. Thank you. Hey guys, quick video where I make these four coins teleport.
talent is that I can do a cool thing with my voice. Bruh, bruh, ay, ay. Hello, hope everyone's doing well. My talent is doing a Dora the Explorer impersonation. Hola, soy Dora. Can you help me find boots? Muy bien. Swipe or no swiping. Swipe or no swiping. We did it! We did it! We did it! Yeah! Adios! Carol Baskin killed her husband, whacked him. Can't convince me that it didn't happen. Fed him to tigers, they snacking. What's happening? Carol Baskin. Hey, Hornet Report. Uh, this is my quote unquote secret talent. Um, I essentially make drawings with a 3D pen. It's like a little mini 3D printer that you can make stuff with. Um, I've made a few creations. I've had this pen since Christmas, so I've made a few things. And here I'm making the froggy chair that you can see on my PC in the background. There's a finished product along with my tree and another thing I made. Wow, that was amazing. Thanks, Michelle. I'm so glad I get to call these awesome people my friends and peers. Those talents definitely weren't easy. I may or may not have gotten a blister filming my own, but now it's time for me to show you some teacher's pets. No, not that kind of teacher's pet. The kind of teacher's pets that bark, meow, and change color.
this is a chameleon Levi. Levi's very sweet, he's a grumpy old man, so he doesn't let us touch him very often, but he's really sweet. show you my pets. A kitty, bunny, two dogs over here. There's one more cat but she's hiding. I hope you're all healthy. You had me there for a second, Chris. I'm happy they were that kind of teacher's pets. And they were so cute. Next up, we have Vicki Whittle, who interviewed the very talented Maddie Fields. Maddie was crowned the champion at the Arts Madness Tournament at the Count Basie Center for the Arts for her amazing violin performance. Whittle? I'm here with Maddie Fields, the winner of the Arts Madness Tournament run by Count Basie Center for the Arts. Maddie, could you tell us a little bit about this uh, tournament? Yeah, so, um... It was uh, a tournament where you submit um, a video of about one minute in length. I think they said a total of like 80 submissions and they uh, brought, they cut that down to 32 top submissions and then it works like a March Madness style bracket. And in each round, um, the person who got the most votes went on and luckily I had lots of friends who helped me out and voted and the whole Holmesdale community really rallied around me and helped me win. So you submitted a video of yourself playing the violin, right? Yeah. How long has I, you been playing? Yeah. Um, I've been playing the violin for about 12 years. I've been playing since I was like five years old. And um, yeah, I submitted a piece um, uh, by Mozart. Um, so it's uh, Mozart in D major, um, Mozart number four. It's a violin concerto. Yeah, I, I watched the video. It looks very intricate. Do you think you could play a part of the uh, piece right now, actually? Yeah, I can. Um, so this piece is in total about like, I'd say eight and a half minutes with a cadenza. Wow. Um, and I think I probably worked on this piece for a good like four or five months with my teacher before I actually ended up performing it in a competition. Well, congratulations on winning this like huge honor of the Arts Madness Tournament. And thank you for being part of this interview. Thank you so much. Thanks, Whittle, and huge congrats to you, Maddie. Now, let's switch up the topic to sports. Hopefully, we'll be able to see some spring sports soon. Maybe, just maybe, we'll be back on those fields in May and June. But for now, let's toss it over to the boys lacrosse and baseball teams to see what they're up to in quarantine. Here's Coach Quinn. How's it going, everybody? Day 22 of our quarantine here. Um, you know, I just wanted to say, you know, 
us at Homedale, we're missing everybody back home. Uh, you know, I know that our sports teams haven't been able to get together and, uh, you know, really practice or anything, but I decided to get the boys together to throw around a little bit. Um, you know, I just wanted to say to everybody, I hope you're all safe at home. Um, you know, you're washing your hands, you're practicing social distancing, uh, doing your thing. So here we go, Homedale Lax. Y'all ready for this? and I think I see Coach Recky and the baseball team down there, so let's see if they want to get involved. See, now we have on our team, we have who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. That's what I want to find then, out, the guy's name. And then, uh -huh. That's what I want to find out, the guy's name. I'm telling you, who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. I have it. You now, want to be the manager of the baseball team? Yes. You know the guy's name? Well, I should. Well, now you tell me the guy's name's on the baseball I team. I say, who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. You ain't saying nothing to me yet. Go ahead and tell me. <laughs> I'm telling him. You ain't saying nothing yet. Go ahead and tell me. Who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. The way I That's it. <laughs> That's his name. Well, you ain't said that. I ain't asked you nothing. You did. You know the guy's name on first base? Sure. Well, tell me the guy's name on first base. Who? <laughs> the guy playing first base. Who is on first move? What are you asking me for? No, don't get excited. I'm saying who. I'm asking you a simple question. Who's at first? Yes. Well, go ahead and tell me. That's it. That's who? <laughs> so say hey, Willie. I'm not mixing up anybody. Now, what's the guy's name on first base? No, what is on second? I'm not asking you who's on second. Who is on first? I don't know. He's on first. We're not talking. <laughs> Wait a minute. Whoa. Now, well, let's whoa, 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 whoa. How did I get on third base? You mentioned his name. I mentioned his name. Yes. I don't know anybody's name on the team. I yet. How could I mention a guy's name? You did. You just mentioned it. All right. What's the guy's name on third base? No, what's on second? Who's on second? Who's on first? I don't know. He's on first. <laughs> Thanks, boys. It's great to see that you're all still in good spirits and keeping it fun while staying in the game. It really goes to show the positive attitude of our students at HHS during these tough times. That's all we have for you today. Thank you again for tuning in for another virtual episode. I agree. It never hurts to go outside and enjoy your sport from your own home. Hopefully, we'll all be on those fields soon. But for now, stay updated and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at HHS Horner Report and on Snapchat at Horner Report to join the hive. From our home to yours, we'll hope you'll join us next time where we'll bring you this week's best at HHS.